Hey everybody, Zach from Primrose Productions Music here. Got a really quick video for you today. So I was working on this track for a client and they had some notes about the delay on the vocal. And basically what they were saying was that they liked the delay at the tail end of the phrase. So after the phrase stopped, they liked hearing the delay but they didn't like hearing the delay while the vocal, it, the main vocal was still going. And when you listen back, it totally makes sense. So what I'm going to show you today is a really quick way to control your delay and your reverb in a situation like that. So real quick, let's just listen to a little snippet of the track here. And then takes it away Though blindly we follow you blindly we follow you Into the See, so it's it's pretty noticeable, but yeah, we want to just control it a little bit. So there's a really easy way to do this. I'm going to solo the vocal now just so we can hear it. It'll be a little more apparent what we're dealing with because it won't be drowned out by the mix. So just listen to just the vocal with the current effects on it. So blindly we follow you. So blindly we follow you. Into the violence and the hate We carry our pride like a patch on our skin And then claim that we're great But I won't go blind Down this path unclear See, as we get into the chorus especially It's even more apparent Because we add a second longer delay on the chorus so we just want to control this. Also, I'm, I'm sure you heard, there was a little bit of a weird, like, extra grounding, like, fuzz noise at the beginning there. Uh, we had something weird going on with the mic that day. You really can't hear it at all in the mix, but when you solo the vocal, you can kind of hear it on the vocal mic. But that's not why we're here today. So anyway, uh, basically what I did to do this was I just put a sidechain compressor triggered by the main vocal on the delay so you see here here's our two vocal lines are going to our vocal bus and then the vocal bus is being sent to the delays and so now we made an additional send here all right so yeah i'll show you how to do this from scratch take that off so we're just gonna open up a send i'm gonna use bus 11 Okay, just set that output. So now whenever the vocal's playing, it's sending the vocal track out to bus 11. So blindly we follow you. All right, so then we open up a compressor on the delay. And it's just a stock Pro Tools compressor. And we have it set to sidechain. Okay, so you just you activate that little sidechain here. You select your bus. In this case, it was bus 11. And then you adjust your threshold. So here, I'll dial this all the way back down, and we'll s I'll show you. I'll dial the threshold down to show you how it affects the vocal. So blindly we follow you. So blindly we follow you. Into the violence and the hate. We carry our pride like a patch on our skin, and then claim that we're great. So I'm sure you can tell there what's happening is the as the vocals coming through the main vocals coming through it's being sent to the delay like it was before but because the vocal is also being sent to trigger this compressor when the main vocal itself is going this compressor is being activated and clamping down on the delay track so whenever there's actually signal coming directly from the lead vocal, you can't hear the delay because it's preventing it with this compressor. And as soon as the lead vocal stops, the compressor comes off so that it lets some of that delay through. Let's just listen one more time with and without this on. 
without first. So blindly we follow you. So blindly we follow you. Into the violence and the hate. We carry our pride like a patch on our skin and then claim that we're great. And let's hear what that sounds like in the mix. So blindly we follow you. So blindly we follow you. Into the violence and the hate. We carry our pride like a patch on our skin and then claim that we're great. But I won't go blind down this path. Of so really, you're really getting the best of both worlds here. So let's turn that on. And we did the same thing with the chorus delay. Like I mentioned, in the chorus, we're kicking on a second longer delay. We literally just copied and pasted this over. So there we go. Same settings, same side chain. So now when we go to the chorus, it's working on both of them. So... So this is for the verse delay, which is still on in the chorus, and this is for the chorus delay. But I won't go blind down this path unclear Into this dark and lonely day And I say goodbye to this deadly fear So now you're getting the benefits of the vocal cutting through, but you're also still getting the delay at the end, which fills in that empty space. Because with it, without these sidechain compressors on the delay tracks, it just kind of gets really washy over the main vocal. Now, this isn't only something that works with delay. You can also use this with reverb. So I'm not using reverb on the vocals in this track, but I'm going to show you real quick anyway. So we'll mute the delay. I just set up this verb here, so sending from the vocal bus to this reverb track that we're now going to turn on. So this is without the compressor right now. It's just the reverb on the vocal. But I won't go blind down this path unclear. See, it's really washy. So again, we're just going to open up a sidechain compressor. I like to put it after the effect because otherwise it's clamping down the signal before the time effect, which means that it's not really capturing what you need it to be relaying after, if that makes sense. If we compress it before, then the signal from this isn't actually getting to the time effect. But if we put it after the time effect, then it's reading it for the reverb and the delay so it can replay it backwards. It will replay it afterwards, but during we're not hearing it. Whereas otherwise, if you block the signal going into it, then it's going to have nothing in it to play back in the empty space. So you got to make sure you're side chaining after. Anyway, so there's the reverb, and then we're just going to add a compressor. And same thing, side chain, same input. Input 11, or bus 11, and we'll just dial this back until we like where it is. But I won't go blind down this path unclear Into this dark and lonely day And I say So there you guys go. Really, really simple way to control your delays and your reverbs. Just a little bit of sidechain compression. 
I, like I said, that was a really quick video. I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, I've been doing a lot of these mixing type videos recently. Uh, usually I'm doing more recording stuff and I'm doing more in front of the camera stuff, but recently I've been doing a lot of these mixing tutorial kind of things. So if you guys are enjoying this as opposed to the other stuff, let me know in the comments. You know, like the video and uh, if you're into this more, then I'll definitely do more of this kind of stuff for you. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have some music of your own that you're ready to get out there and you're not quite sure how to make the best of your release process, I want you to go check out my free guide. I call it Your Rise to Stardom. It's called, it just goes over everything that you have to do to get your music in front of as many people as possible as quickly as possible. You can check that out at primroseproductionmusic.com slash guide. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.